sort of close. Please, I, mean, I didn't see it. It was 2-0. It was, it was like, Luis just, I, I, I was watching it and I was shocked. I was like, wait, this isn't, Mia's the one seed in this tournament. This wasn't supposed to happen, but Luis says, this is my house. Like, okay, so knowing that, right, Mia is playing amazing also. Both these players are on top of their game right now. They're, make, they're making these games, like, they're making um, their opponents look free, right? And uh, Luis coming off a couple of, like, really close, amazingly played Game 3 sets, while Mia comes off of two sets that are, like, the easiest sets he's ever played in his life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so Mia's warm, right? Very kind way to say it. <laughs> oh, parry into the, the, sorry, down B into the bomb didn't do anything. I'm a bit surprised. Get up attack there to punish the, dash, the down smash. Interesting again. Down there to gain the stage control. And this is the moment where Mia shined up to now. Okay. Shine or shown? How do you say it? Uh, has oh. shown shine is fine. You know what? Why are you asking me for English advice? <laughs> what am I supposed to be able to speak English? What is this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh last of this is going to be enough. Fake it into back air. These confirms off Chef are really deadly. Um, sometimes you think they might not be that bad, but Mia is showing people that you have to respect them every single time. You can't ever get hit by one of those Chef moves because I will confirm it into something crazy. Like in the last set, it was into F smash even. Uh-oh, no jump here on Luis. Okay, it's just going to work Oh, there. not time. Oh, okay, but nothing afterwards. But that's a good idea to defend again. Oh, oh Luis slugged oh. into the up air. I'm only for that. I'm only for the sexy move like this. You that know what? Is so that is so cool. I will have kept it for tomorrow. I will have kept <laughs> it for the main bracket. No, Luis wants to win this. This is, bi this is big for him. He wants to defend his house. He wants to show that he can but compete. Don't you want to hear the crowd roaring for you? They're doing it right now. Do you see them behind us? Actually, People are going crazy. Oh, you're, you're right. You may be right. <laughs> So, Luis, uh, it lo odds. looks like the game was going bad, but no, bringing it back, basically even now. And you can see that right now, he kind of taught Mia a lesson. You, I think you will not see a single up air uh, you know, Mia right now. You're right, and that changes everything, right? Because yes. Game & Watch's um, up air juggling is so good, and now he knows he has to respect it. It changes the whole dynamic of an advantage state. Exactly, and we talked about how he did manage to shock and extend his advantage phases against the previous two opponents. Guess what? Now we just give him an exit room. Ooh, but Luis thought yeah. he would trick Mia with the short warp in front of him, but Mia's like, you know this down smash hits on both sides, right? Yeah. I don't <laughs> care where Surprise. you land. Okay, bomb defensive wall, shield and again, go for the grab afterwards. No up there, there we go. We'll see. Maybe to go on up beat, try to get an air dodge in. Not going to happen, unfortunately. I lied. There we go, two up My god, Luis wants to get back onto the stage so badly, but ah. he just can't. There we go, gets back on. Dash tag, no punish by Luis. Let's do it again then. How is he going to get off? Okay, the fair going to trade. That's Oh, runs up and up smash. He says, Mia, stop running at me. That's yeah. a Louis classic, honestly. Conditioning. Conditioning again and again. Or a soul read. He just like stared into his soul, soul for a moment. <laughs> I see you. Not you. I mean, when Louis needs me? the kills, he can find them. I don't know how he finds them. I don't know where he knew to do that, but he finds them. There we go. Big oh, confirm there into 28%. Not going for the second there, but just trying to go for another confirm after. It's perfectly well done again, but he is, he is quite high in percent. But you know what? That's just enough rage to kill one of, again. The you second light Game of Watch is at kill percent now. He you is. Know. Oh, he's definitely at least. It's a bad game. That's it. Why did he sleep on ledge? Oh, he's alive. Okay. Mia has to do it. Has to come back again. Down tilt. Not going to catch this time, but down the throw grab. That's. No, he's, he's yeah, going to be living. Yeah. That was not the last hit of the upper. That would have been enough with any other hits. Oh, no! No, way! he jumps from ledge and gets caught by the oh. chair to the face. That was so close to killing. That was insane. I can't believe that didn't kill. Game Watch is so light, and Luis had so much rage. I thought it was going to do it. You mean the down air into the upper? Yeah, into the back, uh, uh, into the back air. Oh, the back air before. The confirm yeah, yeah, off yeah, exactly. the ledge. Uh, unfortunate indeed. Uh, you, do know, you do know that uh, whenever you have like that... Uh, Thunder, that the rates, the red thunder and all, the, mm -hmm. the red screen and all. It does reduce knock, the knockback a bit. It does reduce the knockback? Yes. So there are a few hits where any other stocks would have taken it, but he needs the last stock before the, because of that kill screen. Really? It does reduce slightly the You're knockback. You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding. You're going to have to show from me this afterwards. The beginning I of the, from the beginning of Smash to me, people did actually study around it, and the kill screen actually reduced slightly the knockback. That's insane. That's wild. Why would they? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put that out of my head for a second and focus back on this match. This, so okay. So remember, Luis is in winner's side. So if 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 Mia um e we wins this, we're in for it again. Uh, but obviously, Luis still has another chance here. We know how, what kind of a crazy player is Luis, even after losing game one. 
Uh, look at that, no hesitation. The counterplay to the bomb, the best counterplay is to not hesitate at all and attack through it. Exactly. Be yes. And that we saw in the previous matches with Mia, his opponents were a little bit hesitant to punish it and they would get hit by it. But Luis, you can tell how that he's playing really well right now because no hesitation, he just dash attacks the bomb. Exactly, because either he's on the ground and use the dash attack, which is a safe move because, well, it's a dash attack with the shield. Yeah. Oh, he could go for the back here because, again, it's not a safe move. Yep. Oh, he could go for it there because it's a multi hit. Oh, he could go for an upper, which is not a multi hit. Yes. He does have the tool to contest the bomb. Now, though, he needs to be wary on the ledge because right now, Mia is having a field day with what? that goddess. Checkmate by Mia. Mia knew Luis had no options there. Luis tried to trick him by going a little Ooh. bit high, but Mia was able to cover all of it. Sexy aside a step here. We did dash attack. Up oh, smash oh, didn't oh, get him, but the F smash did. Luis said, whoa, 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 wait, get back into my smash attack. You were supposed to get hit by that one. Dude, don't worry, you do you go for those smashes when they are safe options. He just did for a comet after another comet and it paid. Luis does it not just because not because it's safe, because he knows it's gonna work. <laughs> That's why he does. Double down. <laughs> Where's the There's the counter into the... No. Okay, so at low percents, it looks like Luis has a harder time comboing off yes. that. Great spacing there. The up, Palu up air versus Game Watch down air is a weird thing. It's all about spacing. If you get it on the sides of the up air, Palu's up air will win. If you get it in the middle of Palu's head, then Palu will lose. So uh, it's very tough between the two of them to try to figure out where they're going to uh, land. Okay. Good grab there, not going to connect with the back air. Okay, Fair cheeky donator here to punish the, 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 the spacing. Oh, oh my money. god, you ah. another up smash. I love how now uh, Mia is implementing a few more sidestep to his game plans. You can tell how much Luis doesn't want to be at the ledge versus Mia because whenever he has an opportunity, he tries to work past him, right? He tries to not be in that situation, but he yeah. inevitably ah. finds himself back there again and he hasn't had a solution to it. Just as I say, right? Just as I say, he just want to avoid that position because you know that he's kind of in a very nice situation every time he's there. And I think it's fully warranted because he has oh. not... Oh. Man, Luis. Uh, 50% chance, I guess. <laughs> it either, it's 50 50, right? It either yeah. works or it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop! Where are you going? It's a re grab, though. It's not on the ledge. Sorry. Oh, man, these nares from ledge give Mia so much percent. There's the reflect, but Mia actually not getting hit by the reflected one that time. Uh, interesting, <laughs> interesting. Mia Luis. For his own reflex afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this ledge play by Mia is immaculate. Yeah, it doesn't look good at all here for the American player. The turtle will solve the deal. Here we go. Reset wow. of the set here. Yes, we go 2 0. Oh. We and have a reset here. Yeah. Both of them are 1 1 in this tournament against yeah. each and other. 2 2 against each other in game count. So. Yes. And right now, it looks like Mia has all the momentum. I think definitely. The, the key to this, right, Luis, when he's not at the ledge, looks like he's playing well. Looks like it's fine. The real problem here is Luis has not been able to deal with the Chef at ledge. Lu Mia's ledge trapping game is so on point right now, it looks like there's no options that work. Like, like Luis has tried everything. He's tried warping past him in front of him, get ups, jumps, he's tried re-grabbing and attacking from the ledge. No matter what he does, he ends up back at the ledge. What can he do then? Maybe I don't know. Add more platforms? I don't know. Choose another stage with like a slightly different, like, Maybe? I can check. I don't know. I mean, we I definitely don't know. don't know. And right now, it looks like Luis doesn't know. Yeah, you don't know <laughs> something, though. Mia is actually on the six-win streak right now. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And Mia looks like he said, like he's upset that he lost in winner's side. And he wants to take this tournament like he like he was seeded to. He was the one seed in this tournament. Uh, people expected him, expect him to win. But, you know, the unexpected... <laughs> Drop <laughs> the losers. Oh, I, I thought maybe. You, you, were, not, you zero. were not the only one. You were not the only one. I really thought it was going to happen again. But again, if you see that movement from Mia, he knows that Rumani loves to go for the aggressiveness. So he's going to sidestep a bit, backtrack yes. a bit. So even if it does imply he jump off the ledge. Because you know that he does have the other tools to just go for a safe option afterwards to punish an approach from Rumani. And just like that, look at that. Very scary situation for Luis. Managed to avoid that down smash. Sidestep again. God, this ledge situation. What is Luis going to do about this? Nothing. Nothing! The answer is take the chair to the face and go to the next stock. Yeah, maybe use the platform from the next stock to get back onto the stage. <laughs> Crazy smart move, if I the may angel say platform. So. It doesn't work. He's still at the ledge. He's never left the ledge. He's back at it again. Okay, yeah. he rolled through. There we go. The roll worked one time. Ah! Into the F smash. You know what? Who cares? Who cares about any of that? If you're hitting your F smashes as Palu, then nothing else matters. Nah, you do understand the concept of Super Smash Bros, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's crazy how Luis, like, it looks like he can't figure out what to do, but it doesn't matter. He finds the reads when he needs to, and he's like, if that's, if that's good, that's good enough for me. Yeah. 
I mean, it's just good enough for him indeed to just look at that. Even in nearly even in the whole game with that. Luis taking all of this because oh. he didn't respect the nair from ledge by Mia, and now he goes back to the yeah, ledge. I think he was uh, aiming for the platform, unfortunately. He didn't manage to get in, and that would cost him around 30 more percents. Yeah, he warps past him. Oh, no. He has control of this game. This is insane. Oh, my God. The nod. 146. I'll be just taking those 30% and Riz repeated at doing it again and again. You have to respect the way that. Oh my god. He catches him from. The, the bomb explodes on the top platform. Palatine is tall, so the explosion I, I, is able to reach her. Luis looking for another F smash. Not quite going to get it this time. And there we go. Because like, Oh my god. That's a shaky down beat. Not going to connect. Unfortunately, and there we go. 85% already. No, sorry, 47% on his last stock here. You know, Luis, it's, it's not looking great right now, but Luis has figured out something. The warp past Mia is has worked a couple times in a row, and it might make Mia have to choose yep. different options now. Ooh. And there's the down throw into the bear. This is doable now, especially yeah. because Luis has figured out a couple of things to do from the ledge. It's possible. And there we go. There's the combo starter that he needed. But oh, good SDI awesome. from the side of Mia, who's going to punish the last one with a good up here to even things out. 97%, 95%, I say 100% now. That's a lot of rage, and we've seen how Lumoni was kind of good on his feet. The with down those air. Smashes. If he wants to go for another. Oh my no! god! How did what? the F tilt not what? connect? What? How did he go through what? the F tilt? Oh, he, that was just enough iframes on that air dodge to get past the F tilt. You see Luis there looking frustrated. He, he went through it, did manage to get enough time to have the whole end lag, yes. and then go for a down tilt. It's, you know, that is the kryptonite of F-Tilt. Like, it looks so good, it covers so much space, but the end lag is really, really high, and Mia knowing that, like, I, I mean, we're all shocked he made it through, but Mia's like, hey, I got through, might as well kill you. <laughs> it, well, it looked like the right read from Luis, I can't blame yeah, him, it, it was, looked right. It was, yeah. indeed, and just like after this, he could again take the stage control for a while. Yeah. It made me go for a good comment on his side, because he did go for those smashes at the perfect timing before. Yeah, we know Luis, as long as he keeps control of the stage, he always has that kill power on Mia because he has those reads Seven where he goes for those smash attacks. Seven wins in a row. So this could potentially be the last game of the tournament. Mia is on fire right now. This is three wins in a row for Mia against Luis in particular. Luis needs to win this to keep his hopes of winning this tournament from winners, I mean, not from winners, keep hopes of winning this tournament alive. Yep, and guess what? It's already starting to uh, be uh, the first. Okay. okay. It's fine, though. He's got it the... Is this combos. is fine. Yeah, there 47%. 40? Luis 57? trying to catch the landing. No, Mia retreats to the, to the ledge. Okay. I, I like that Luis seems to be respecting Mia on the ledge now. Those nares from ledge give you give Mia so much percent that Luis has to respect it. The only time he tried to go for an aggressive option, look at what happened. Oh my god, this is it reflecting to yes. reflect? It's now playing ping pong, vertical ping pong. Mia is really playing around that really well now because Luis keeps trying to reflect, but Mia is ma put, making sure to position himself not directly underneath it, and that is a great offstage uh, chase yep. to get that back air where Mia, I think, caught a little bit sleeping there. Wasn't ready for it. Yeah, he didn't go that far uh, be, be, uh, below the terrain before, so, well, he, he was feeling kind of confident again, another uh, case of conditioning from inside of Blue Money. God, the up airs. Yeah. They what do you do? Okay, here straight. we go. Nope, just going to up be out of the situation. You don't like it, oh. you up be. That's what you do. But it doesn't matter. Luis finds another hit. 47%. There's the okay. grab. You roll in my arms. I'm not going to complain. Back throw, in down throw, sorry, into back down air. Down tilt, into the back air. No good oh. DI by Mia. If you DI away from that down tilt, it's a lot harder to hit. And oftentimes, it doesn't even connect. Safe option to safe option. Dash stack into up smash into dash stack. I love what I'm seeing from the side of Mia. I'm not taking Oh yes. my god! The weight on the spot dodge with down smash. Luis finding these crazy smash attacks over and over and over again. How does he do it? I don't know, but what I did see there was another good call out, <gasps> and this is another, another call out. Oh my god, Luman is in the mind of Mia here. You know what? He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He died. He got the counter on the down. He's like, if the up airs are too hard to hit, because I have to like space, you know, like I'm talking about spacing out your up airs so that you beat it, blah, blah, blah. Who cares about spacing? Just jump up, and if you really know what he's going to do, just counter. That works. The, oh my gone. god, he uh, went for the nine. Yeah, I mean, there's a point where you go like, okay, okay, you want to play a game? I, I want to play a game too. <laughs> We're playing roll the dice. Oh, doesn't get the grab on the neutral gap. Again, going for the judgment. He's smiling. He's smiling. This guy has nothing to lose anymore. Oh, oh the up smash. Yeah. It was right. It was just a little bit too slow. Come on. 
That's uh, not going to connect. Maybe the second one down there here, okay? That's going to do it. Good spacing on the up air with the side of the wings. That's a dominant game from Luis. Suddenly, where did that come from? That was three games in a row of Luis just like looking like he was going to fall away from the tournament and suddenly comes back with, wait, not just yet. Not I can today. still do this. Not today. But yeah, as you say, that game was first a good call out on the low recovery. Yes. Second, a good call out with a uh, down smash on yes. the spot dodge. On the spot dodge. And third one was about a curl out here on the jumper there and yeah. then punish with an up here. Luis, like, Mia probably was thinking, okay, I've got this in the bag right now. And suddenly it's, wait a moment, wait a moment. Luis is playing hot. Yeah. Luis says, doesn't care that he lost Stop. three games in a row. Exactly. He's always, he's, he's here in NorCal. He's in his home turf. He knows he can do it. He just needs to hit a couple more reads with those smash attacks. There we go. Another counter here to punish the aggressive for Mia. That's another good way to punish every time he tries to go onto him and extend his advantage phases. Absolutely, here we, here we go. Another ledge situation, what's the option? Do you notice that Mia is not doing as many um, bacons now because he knows that Luis can get past it by teleporting past? So he's stopping it early and waiting to see if Luis will teleport and Luis isn't teleporting now. The mind games here are really cool. Avoiding the up pairs, one of the other up in the face again, the grenade, and there we go, trying to bait to jump this time because he went for the grab so many times as well. Did he charge his yes. full down B? I think he does have a full down B. It's not a big no, deal. No, it's not a down It's not a big one yet because those are like multi multi Yeah, right? it, it will do 20% and it will kill eventually, but it's not going to kill like super early. Yeah. Specifically when you have a shield, I guess. It, it, you know, oftentimes um, I'll see Game & Watches after you charge it to just throw out the bucket because once you don't you have don't bucket have anymore, reflect. you don't have the reflect. Yeah, exactly. You don't have the reflect and you don't have any way to deal with Palo's projectiles anymore. Oh! What was that? Oh, I guess on the roll, the outs didn't happen. Unfortunately, Mia had something cooking. The back air going to send Mia so deep that fair, not quite going to hit. That would have killed. Yeah, that would have killed. But uh, unfortunately for Lumani, uh, Palestine is one of those characters that doesn't have a lot of... Uh, I don't have any hitbox at all, he's up Right, right. Oh no! no! Luis trying to go for the nair, but you, ha you Luis don't. not respecting yes. Game & Watch's up enough. It's so hard to contest that move. Oh, that's going to do it. Yeah, Game & Watch is super light. A fresh side B is going to kill Game & Watch on Smashville. Surprisingly, because he was like a very low percent, so yeah. not a lot of rage. And on Mia, I had a 10% if I'm correct at the beginning of the move here, the, the move here sorry, for Mia. Oh okay. man, 75%. Yeah, it's just yeah. so hard to land now against yeah. Game of Watch. Okay, there we go. There's the combo starter. 45, Good five, maybe? Good DI there by Mia, only taking 27%. Yeah. It's hard when you've got some raging, your opponent's floaty. They can really SDI up and get out of it pretty early. Yeah. Oh no! Yo! No! Oh, and that's gonna do it! That's another uh -oh. stock! Mia on tournament stock! This is not looking good. This is not looking good for the Kids House representative here. Here we go, Luis knows this is his time to make ah. something happen, but he takes a nair from Mia, and now he's at the ledge. Get up, ah. attack, hold out. Yeah, 38%. Cool. The call out that Rimoni was doing before, or just getting called out one after the other here now by Mia. Mia kind of understanding exactly what Rimoni was fishing up to now. And that's and it! Done. That's the Check tournament! Mates. Mia with that down smash berry into F smash kills so early. Luis showed, his like, showed so much fight there. Like, we, we both thought that Luis could do it there, but then Mia, he sensed blood at the end. He got one kill early, and he yeah. said, no, 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 I will run away with this. I won't give you any chance to make those clutch plays and come back into the tournament. Yeah, he was like, hey, you know what? Time for me to play with two hands on the control. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. what just happened there. It is what happened. The top players, they have this killer instinct, right? They, they, they sense weakness, and they'll <laughs> run with it. They'll be like, ooh, That's delicious. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, let's see if that killer instinct can hold on up to tomorrow.